Hello, Terraria Enthusiasts! My name is James, and welcome back to the Spirit Mod. So, in today's episode, it's not just the Spirit Mod, we have added a new mod. So, I will let you guess what it is real quick. I'll do a drum roll. It is the Magical Storage Mod. So, this is something I got uh, highly requested in Calamity. And I never really gave it a real look, but I got so many comments about it yesterday that I thought I may as well give it a look. If it's overpowered, I'll get rid of it. But what it essentially does is it adds a giant chest storage sorting system. And uh, it sounds awesome, but it requires gems to start building it. So we've got to start working on it as the episodes develop. But it's new. We've added it to the mod pack. And I'm really excited. So I, uh, I got some 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 comments and some tweets wondering how I am. As you guys know, I kind of, uh, I mentioned my cold a lot in the last episode. My cold is, yeah, it's, it's worse, if I'm honest. So I've got rid of the, uh, the chesty cough and the, uh, and the blocked nose. And today I just had like fever, like absolute fever. So I was on a train for five hours today because I was visiting an old friend and, uh, and it's two hours and a half there and two and a half, two and a half hours back. And my God, I was just sat on this train, just absolutely dying from fever. So, uh, so yeah, my cold is somewhat better, but uh, yeah, so whatever. <laughs> just because you all asked. All right, so what I want to get done today is I want to go and explore some of the ice biome. Obviously, it's still early days, let's be real here. I mean, I'm not running off to go and, uh, and to beat anything real soon or whatever. But there is something I would like to start building towards, and I think it'd actually be pretty simple. So... There is a, a first boss in uh, Spirit Mod. It's called Scarbubler, and it uses a, uh, a Scarab Idol to uh, to make. So I looked up Scarab Idol. I'll do it in front of you guys too. And all it needs is a Sapphire and some Antlion Mandibles. So, you know, that's cheap as oat. And I was, you know, listening and responding to some people in the Spirit Discord, and they said, oh, don't judge the mod based on this first boss. Because apparently it's not the strongest point of the mod. Um, I'm sure if you've played it, you'll you'll know what that's about. I don't, if I'm honest. But uh, so yeah, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna judge it on how that boss looks. But we are gonna start working on it because, I mean, it's so cheap to craft. Uh, craft. That's gonna be an easy boss, right? I can't see that one being too hard. But we'll see what happens. Okay, so this is good. So I did need some uh, some emeralds. So like I said before, I don't like to show mining in episodes, but when it's kind of important, I feel like it's worth showing. So we need the emeralds for the crafting mod or the storage mod, sorry. Magical storage. It uses an emerald and some diamonds to make the storage heart, which is the central hub of the whole storage mod. And then you craft extensions called storage units I think I don't know I'm gonna work it out as we go along uh, it'll probably end up as a, uh, a chippy gaming video eventually as well because it's something that I've uh, I've had a lot of comments on so if we like it and we start using it I'll try and do a, a proper overview on chippy gaming because I'll probably do some research off camera and figure it out myself but uh yeah that's that's probably what it will turn into oh, right break through the ice here we go Oh, good. I got some rope. I was actually, uh, I was actually really hoping I would get some rope because I knew that uh, there was a bit of a drop off here. Okay, now I don't want to face these guys. So uh, yeah, because I don't have um, <laughs> you know what I could do with I could do with a bow. So I don't have any range weapons. It's kind of a a bit annoying. So I'm gonna make a bow, even though it's basic. It's probably better than what we've got. And then I'll make some arrows. I've already got some anyway. Okay, that's fine. I'll take this with me. Thank you. Okay, so... Yeah, like I say, if we've got something range, it's much better. Okay, what's this? A lost mime. Okay. A lost mime. Alright, my little summon and my, uh, and my arrows are doing good stuff. Hell yeah. <laughs> Come on, lost mime. This guy has so much health. For what he is. I wonder if he drops anything cool. I imagine he's going to drop something. Oh my god. Right, get out of here. Okay, I'm hoping the uh, the lost mime dies real quick. So I can uh, at least move away from him. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. 
yeah, that don't go well, does it? That don't go well at all. Alright, so instead I actually decided that maybe instead of going back there, because it kind of seemed like a bit of a dead end anyway, I thought we could go right and just kind of get a better sense of our world, and hopefully we might stumble across like a really nice cavern system, like we did in the, uh, in the last episode. We just kind of explored, and we found something good, so I want to see if that works for us today. Ah, alright, well, up here we go. Okay, a desert. So that's an interesting one. I am not equipped enough for a desert yet, but I may as well see if I can get some uh, stuff while I'm here. So I'm going to grab some cactus. I'll also take some water leaf while I'm here, just for some potions. Oh my god, what's this guy doing? <laughs> what is that about? Alright, okay. Now begins the process. You know what? I'm going to stick one of my little minions out there. I'm not going to lie, this kind of, uh, oh, there you go. This summon is not great, if I'm honest. It doesn't seem to really want to, to kill a lot of people. Woo! All right, okay. Let's see what's, uh, let's see what's down here. I mean, okay, all right, bad spawn, essentially, for that. I was going to say, if there was a, uh, a nice spawn to it, then I would uh, I'd definitely check it out. All right, I can kill a vulture. Oh, wow, there's two vultures. I didn't even see the second one. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have to kind of like do this properly. <laughs> I love it. This is what I love about expert mode. So I played through the game a lot, right? I played through uh, a lot of, uh, I've done a lot of like playthroughs of this game, right? More than, more than some. And I still freak out at basic enemies when I'm at the beginning of the game, because even though they're basic enemies, they're still so strong compared to you when you start. I mean, look at this. This is absolutely dismal. Like, this is tragic, isn't it? Let's be real. Look, tragic. Now, it's not that I'm, like, willing to be killed by uh, weak enemies or anything like that. Like, I actually find it quite annoying. Um, but yeah, like, I do. I freak out because I'm gonna, like... I'm very aware of the fact that they can kill you. Because I have no armor and it's expert mode. And I've got a wooden bow. Let's be real here. But it's just because I like to play a little bit more dangerously at the start of my, uh, my playthroughs. Because I'd rather play a little bit more dangerous than play it safe and potentially just get better stuff. You know what I mean? Like, I know some people who will uh, farm out all of the, the ore armors, like, you know, uh, copper and iron and gold armor. You know, I find that to be a little bit grindy when you can kind of skip ahead by just finding some decent stuff. You know, you find a few good buffs, you take a dive into the, dun uh, the jungle, you know, you might find something really good. Or you might just die, right? <laughs> Either way, you know, you, there's there's a chance of something happening. <laughs> like right now, what am I even gonna do? I have one arrow. Look, screwed it. What do you do here? Do you risk it all? I feel like you do. <laughs> I feel like you do. I need a little bit more stone because I, I can't make any more arrows. Unless I have anything here to make anything with. No, I don't. <laughs> okay, that is a lot of piranhas. Am I wrong in saying that? That is that is a hefty amount of piranhas. I could do with a hook. I might stay here just for the hook. Come on. Oh no, I've already got a hook. What am I talking about? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh, I actually got the hook! <laughs> I was like ready to cut away and I actually found the hook. Jesus. My observation skills today. <laughs> Right, so I was going to uh, I was gonna talk about a, uh, a thing that I saw in Spirit Mob, which I actually thought was really cool, and I wanted some ideas from you guys to help me with something, right? So, they have donator items for the Spirit Mod, so essentially you can donate uh, a sum of money, and they will make an item because you've been nice enough to donate. Well, I want to donate some money to the Spirit Mod, but I don't know what my item should be, so I would really like it if you guys had any advice on what my item should be. I would uh, I'd definitely get listening because it'd be really cool if we could do something like that. So what I'll do is if I see an amazing idea for an item down below, I'll use that as my item and we'll, we'll call it whatever name you give or whatever. So is that cool? I hope that's cool. So this is what I want to show you guys. This is what it was called. I think it's called the, let's see, is it called, this is it, False Staff. So it grants 2% increased magical damage and plus 10 maximum mana. So, it's pretty chill, right? I mean, it's just 40 wood and 2 gold bars. So, this is something we could make. So, I wanted to show it off because I think that's a really cool feature. 
So, false staff. Let's see how good it really is then. So you activate it once. No? Alright, okay. I'm oh, it's equipable. Oh, that's weird. It's weird that it's a staff, but it's also equipable. I get that it, it transformed into something else. Okay, our item has to make a little bit more sense than that one. Okay, let's see what it makes uh, in the future. It makes false staff of defense. So you use a cobalt shield and one of every gem. And it's an accessory that gives 3% increased magical strike damage. Uh, magical damage. Plus 20 maximum mana and immunity to knockback. That's pretty sick. I mean, if you were going for a mage route rather than an obsidian shield, that's pretty cool. I mean, yeah, all right. I mean, that kind of favors mages, so yeah, cool. And so yeah, we're on 50. Take it off. What do you What do you have before? You have 40? Yeah, that's an interesting item. So maybe our donator item will be a little bit different. You can make a cactus staff? No way. Oh my god, this, this mod, that's sick, it loves mage weapons, doesn't it, you can tell already, you can tell that it's a magey kind of a uh, mod, okay, let's get rid of that, that's from the first episode, right, so what was I, what did I want to do, oh, I wanted to look at these in a second, but I'm putting these away because I'm going to do a little bit more exploring, okay, yeah, that's pretty chill, I like that. I mean, I haven't got much mana, so I can't really use it all that much. But, uh, yeah, that's cool. That's actually pretty sick. So if you combine that with this, you got a somewhat decent combination. I need to regen mana, though, first. <laughs> I like that it's so slow. <laughs> it's like almost not worth using in that sense, but it's actually kind of worth using at the same time. Do they stay around on the floor? Wow, okay, right, let's be real here. Today I'm just learning things. That's cool. Uh, like, I'm, I'm enjoying that. Hell yeah. I'm, I'm getting somewhat of a combination going. You know what, now that it's night, I might uh, explore a little bit more and pick up some stars as we go around. Because if this mod's going to lean towards mage weapons, I'd like to at least be able to uh, to use some of them. That's pretty chill. But yeah, I'd definitely like to uh, to get a donator item in the game. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty chill. Okay. Right, let's go over the reach and let's go into our ice biome because I had my suspicions that it was a full-blown corruption ice biome, but I want to check it out. An enchanted leaf, material, placed with the magic of druids. Hell yeah, it's now Druidaria. You guys know that series by Shin? Or is it Sips? <laughs> Alright, okay, that's bad knowledge, isn't it? Oh, no, 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 okay. Alright, I did want that star, so... Right, they've got such a jump to them. <laughs> Okay, I'm just waiting for my, uh... Oh, I do like that. Right, let's have a little look at this real quick. So what is this? Tox, uh, toxin potion. Critical strike chance may poison foes. Brembletooth. A maleficent mixture of flora and fauna summons the protector of the reach. Is that a boss? No way is that a boss. <coughs> well, it needs shadow scale, so it's got to be. What else? A spark burst. Florin ingot. How do you make a florin ingot? It's used doing florin ore. Wow, I actually haven't seen any of that. I am learning some things today. Today is, today is really about learning, isn't it? Yeah, let's go a little bit to the left. I want to see what it's about. So, what do we do here? I tell you what, I'm going to put down this. Actually, we'll leave that. I was debating making some um, some golden shuriken. But I uh, I realized you're probably in an anvil. Yeah, okay, so this is full-blown corruption. All right, that's not worth going into. So I'm going to collect some stars. And I'm also going to make some golden shuriken. And see what it's about. And then I also want to... I also wanted to start working on the storage stuff, but I don't know if I've got the gems. So that's something I want to do. But I can make a, uh, I can make a mana crystal now. And then I want to see if I have any stars in here to make a mana crystal with, and I don't. Okay. Right, so do you think it's maybe worth going back to this area again and start looking for gems? I think it might be. So I'm going to go quickly jump there now. 
and then we'll go look around for some gems because gems are going to be good. All right, guys, so I've been collecting uh, some gems and trying to find my way around, but oh my god, what is this thing? It looks like a like an eye, but it kind of floats through blocks. It's very annoying. Okay, come back. Hey, there we go. All right, what did you drop? A mime mask. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> That's okay. That looks pretty mad. All right, not gonna lie. All right, so my gem collecting, it's been pretty good. I mean... All this water kind of being, like, not draining out is kind of annoying. But, you know, other than that, it's been all right. Okay, kill this bat. Oh, yeah, the bat can't go through water. So we're all good. Let's descend into this. Oh, wow, a house. Okay, sick. All right, this was a great time to bring it back in. What? Why? Okay, so as you can tell from that clip, my game just crashed. What? Now I don't know what I've got and what I haven't. All right, okay, I still have... All right, okay. Okay, look at me. This is like supreme calamitous all over again. I'm that angry. Um, I have my stuff. But now what happens is, is like, is that area on the map still available? Am I going to have to dig that all out again? What's up with that? <laughs> it's very rare that my game crashes. Usually, I'll get a game crash, uh, like, when I'm, um... Like, if I leave the game for an hour. Say I leave the game for an hour and try and pick it back up again. It will, like, crash. That's so annoying. I've still got... i still got my bombs. Okay, so that means that... I bombed an area on the map, right? That's how I got to, uh, to the area we just saw. So I'm guessing that's no longer bombed. Oh, wow, that's so frustrating. That's really uh, demotivating. Ah, oh, well, I mean, we can get over it. But what the hell? <laughs> I, I just wasn't expecting it. It's cool that my... Uh, it's... All right, okay, so usually when you record something, right? If you don't do uh, YouTube very often, you might not know this. But... Ah, uh, oh, was it down here I blew it up? When you record something on YouTube, anyway, uh, the... Yeah, so I don't have the gems. All right, let me speak. I like I'm talking over myself. Uh, when you record something on YouTube, it, usually if you if your game crashes and the file doesn't finish, that means it's gone. Like it's gone forever. But I just checked and I have all my footage, so I don't know what's up with Terraria, man. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to get my gems back and blow up that part of the world again. All right, let's we'll jump cut to that. Okay, so I've. Uh, Alright, okay, built through. Let's see if this door crashes my game. If it crashes my game again, then we know it's the killer door. Three, two, one. Oh, I don't even open. <laughs> okay, right. Oh my god. Hey, two chests, not bad. Right, Ah, oh, do you know what? I know it's a, uh, a vanilla weapon, but I'll take that. I'll take that, that's, that's good. And then I'll take this water chest down here. I hope it's... Uh, all right, if I was praying for something, I'd say water walking boots. Go on, what is it? Eh, it's a trident. I'll take the night owl. Actually, you know what? I'll take the tungsten too and move on. Oh my god, I just... Ah! I can't stand crashes. <laughs> Especially because then you don't know what you've, you're missing out on. I'm probably missing out on something, but it doesn't matter. I'll get over it. Right, I'm going to use my bombs now to blow up this gold, because look at how much gold there is here. There's a really decent amount. Okay, um, oh, it's so nice to have a real weapon. There we go. Okay, um, right, I'll have two sticky bombs. Oh, okay, maybe not. I think I'm out of, uh, I'm out of slime. All right, that's fine. Oh, and I got a heart crystal as well. Sick. This has been great. <laughs> This is a good area to find. This world gen is brilliant. I've had some terrible world gen in the past. Uh, I always forget how to do it without making it roll. I think that was it, yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Got salamanders on this world as well, not shellies. Oh, God. Okay. All right. What is around here? I think I might leave this for tomorrow because this seems like a, a potentially good area and I've kind of wasted a lot of time today just kind of looking at stuff that's interesting. So I'll leave this area tomorrow and we'll, we'll go do some more exploring tomorrow. 
But please, feel free to leave your donator item idea. And what I'll do is, if I see a really good one, I'll, once again, we'll donate a chunk of change. And we'll, uh, and we'll make it happen. Alright? Okay. Well, I'm going to end today's episode here, guys. Thank you all for watching. We'll use these gems tomorrow and we'll start setting up some stuff. This kind of, uh, this kind of thing has been a bit of a setback. So, kind of running out of time. Alright, well I hope you all had a fantastic day. If you enjoyed the video, please leave it a like. It's really appreciated. It goes a long, long way. Honestly, you have no idea. In current YouTube landscape, it means a lot. You know, it's a little thing and it, it goes a long way. Right, okay. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.